In this video, I'm gonna be answering a few more of your questions around the Amazon affiliate website that we created in a previous tutorial. So I'm talking about WooZone and the Kingdom theme. Let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So in this video, I'm gonna be answering a few questions around the Amazon affiliate website that we created in a previous video. If you've not seen that video, I'll put a card up on the screen now somewhere up there. So the first question is one that I've had a few times and it's around trademarks when registering a domain name. So say you're interested in promoting the latest Nintendo product and you go and get a domain name, say Nintendo Switch Store, something like that or you're gonna promote Dyson uh, vacuum cleaners, so you get um, bestdysonwebsite.com, whatever. Should you actually be putting those trademarks in the domain name? Well, that is a good question. <laughs> and it really depends on the trademark, I believe. Now, speaking from experience here, I would recommend that you don't do it because I uh, set up a website a little while ago and it had the word WordPress in it. And I created a website and it got going really well. It was a nice affiliate website, earning a bit of money. And then I got an email from the legal people over at Automatic, which are the people that make WordPress, saying, you can't use our trademark in your domain name, so can you please take it down before we take you to court? So I think it really depends on the trademark owner, and you want to check that out as best you can. So go to the website, read the terms and conditions, and if it's not clear in there whether you're allowed to use a trademark in the domain name, uh, maybe get in touch with them, or... Yeah, just don't do it and you'll be fine. The next point I wanna talk about is the screen options, which some people have still been having problems with on Kingdom. This is where you're trying to remove the uh, page title from the page and also set a revolution slider and you just don't get the box uh, when you're editing the page. Now, I did offer a solution in the last FAQ video in terms of checking the screen options and all that, but that's not working for everybody and I've investigated it a bit further on my test site and I found that on Boot Boutique, it works fine, I can see the options, but on my test site, the options aren't there. And it's a bit weird because they're both running exactly the same version of Kingdom, the one that I made available to download in the last video, which was like a dev pre-release version. And yeah, it works fine on Boot Boutique, but it doesn't work on my test site. So I don't know what's going on. I was hoping to get an answer for this video, but AA team weren't able to provide me with a solution just yet. But as soon as I know one, I will do a new video on that. Uh, and I'll put it on Twitter and on wpeagle.com as soon as I know. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. I've tried reinstalling the theme, changing plugins, all sorts of stuff. But yeah, randomly it works on some sites and on others it doesn't. So yeah, as soon as I know, I will uh, let you guys know. The next two questions I'm gonna be answering are around installing a the theme when you get the missing style.css error message and also creating sidebars uh, within Kingdom. But uh, in order to do that, I'm gonna need to get on the computer and uh, show you from there. So uh, let's get on there and uh, go through them. Okay, so the first uh, problem I want to address is a question that I get quite a bit, which is when people try and upload the theme, they get the error message that the style.css is missing. It's quite a simple problem really. It basically means you haven't extracted the file properly that you downloaded. So let me just show you what you need to do. So when you go and you've purchased your theme, Kingdom, I'd imagine, it might be Flatsome, but this actually applies to any WordPress theme. And you go and you download all the files, which is the main download that you generally get. Uh, I'm just gonna create a new folder, keep it neat, uh, test Kingdom, that'll do. So yeah, you download this uh, zip file here which is just downloading, 10 seconds left. Let's speed up time. Okay, little edit there, but hey, we're all downloaded. So you've got your zip file here, which you just downloaded from um, Theme Forest probably. And then what you go and do is you go into your uh, dashboard and you go to Appearance and Themes and Add New and then Upload Theme. Then you find the zip file that you just downloaded is here, click open, install now, and it then uploads it. Again, let's speed up time. I've done a quick edit, it takes ages because the file's big, which is part of the problem to start with anyway. And then it, yeah, it's, it's uploaded now, it's gonna try and unpack the package, and then you get the message here, the theme is missing the style.css style sheet. I said the problem is, is that you haven't extracted the folder that, or file that you downloaded from theme for us so here it is you need to double click it and then in there you find a folder and then there you find another folder called theme and then in there there's another folder called theme zipped 
And it's these that you want to upload. Generally, probably just kingdom.zip, but if you want to go for a child theme, that's fine. You just need to install both of them. So if we go back here and go to um, themes again. If we upload the right one, it should be fine. Let's just go add new. Upload, choose file. Then in this uh, folder that I just extracted, and then theme, as I just showed you, and theme zipped. Kingdom.zip. It should be much quicker because it's a smaller file for a start, which is good. There we go, installing, unpacking. Give it a second or two. Installing the theme. Theme installed successfully, and then activate. So yeah, if you're getting that missing .style CSS, it's because you need to extract the folder or the file you downloaded. So it creates a folder and within that folder there will be another zip file that you can then upload and it will work fine. The next thing I want to go through is regarding sidebars. I've had this question a few times, which is how do you add a sidebar to a particular page or a certain uh, category or product or whatever? So I'm going to show you how to do that right now, um, but not. Okay, so say we wanted to add a um, sidebar to the Fly London category, which is here, which is a certain sort of boot. And so we wanted uh, you know, a sidebar with some stuff, maybe a bit of blurb about Fly London or I don't know, some sort of filters, whatever. You can do whatever you like with sidebars. They basically take widgets. So to do that, we go into the dashboard and then it's all under appearance and kingdom theme. And you've got your sidebars manager here. So in here we need to create one. Oh, I have got one for blog. Hmm, couldn't see it anyway, never mind. So I just clicked add new sidebar, then I'm gonna add uh, Fly London, save sidebars, which is great. And then the next one down is sidebars per section. Select the sidebar that you want to add to a section. Then add the position where you want it on the left or the right. Let's go for the left. Then it's here where you decide where it's gonna show. So on certain pages, you just tick here. Um, on certain templates, which uh, is basically just the blog. On certain post types, so maybe just on every uh, product. Then you've got your archives and, and all this sort of stuff here. So the section we wanna go into is taxonomy terms. And in here you've got all your different things. So it's a product category and it's Fly London. But obviously you can add it by other things as well. Just take a look there and click. It's very flexible in fact. There we go, I've saved that. So then we just need to add some widgets. And there's all sorts of widgets. So uh, I don't know, maybe you want a, um, like a layered nav, which is quite handy for products with lots of attributes. So filter by uh, size, filter by size. And then you can have a list, that's fine. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna go back to the website. And I'm gonna to go to Fly London. And the, uh, <laughs> that's quite big. Um, so I could adjust that with some CSS or whatever or in the settings, but you can see that you can now filter by just clicking like that, so that's pretty cool. And obviously you can add uh, all sorts of things uh, to a sidebar. Let me just show you a few of the other widgets that you've got on offer. I mean, you might just wanna add some text or uh, you know, uh, an image, logo, whatever to do with the category. It's entirely up to you. So yeah, Fly London, we could remove that and we could have, um, you know, just some text. This is some text that um, what else well whatever you like really it's entirely up to you custom menu is pretty cool you could add you know links through to popular um, products or whatever you like or use any of these WooCommerce type um, things so or you can even just have a little price filter there we go so let's just go back to the site and have a look at that. And hopefully you'll notice that on the other categories like UG here, they're still uh, full width without a sidebar. So you can add it by category, by page, by whatever. So there we go. Got the filter there by price if you want it. And then there's our text widget. 
this is some text. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful. Please keep sending me your questions uh, via the comments form below this video or um, via my website at wpeagle.com. I do my best to answer um, all of them, but please bear in mind it may take me a few days to get to your question. Uh, I've got quite a lot on and yeah, I get a lot of emails, a lot of comments, and I literally can't spend all day doing it, so I do it in batches. Uh, my turnaround time at the moment is a couple of days, so yeah, hopefully you'll hear from me as soon as I possibly can. I'd really appreciate if you could click the like button below this video on YouTube, and if you wanna be the first to know when I do an upload to YouTube, then please do subscribe by clicking on the little eagle thing right there. And here is a video from my, from my channel, uh, especially for you, which I hope you enjoy. But until next time, it's bye from now.